If you're expecting cinema quality footage of today's solar eclipse, you've come to the wrong place. But I just wanted to show the setup I used to record it because like a lot of people I didn't think to get those special eclipse glasses until the last minute when nobody had them available anymore. But thanks to a video by Michael McEckern, I learned about a little trick you can do with any standard digital camera and a floppy disk. I just pried apart one of these high density three and a half inch floppy disks. And I pulled out the cookie. That's actually what this thing is called, the cookie. And I cut it up to use it as a filter to put on the lens. You can see I put one layer of it taped onto the front of the camera here. It was originally taped on neater than this, but I took it off in order to record some footage under normal lighting conditions. And that actually wasn't enough to reduce all the glare I was getting when recording the image of the sun. But luckily I knew that might be a problem, so I cut out another piece of the disc cookie and I kept it with the little metal piece in the middle. And that was actually a nice idea because it sticks to the speaker magnet of the little built-in speaker so it was able to store inside the camera's LCD like that. So what I did when I was recording, I just held this second piece in front of the lens in front of the first piece that's already taped to it. So if I'm ever going to do this again, I would just tape two layers to the lens and then I wouldn't have to hold this in front of it. In terms of the camera settings, I didn't really use anything special. I didn't even put it on manual exposure. The only thing I did was put it on manual focus and I locked it on infinity focus. Maybe you can see that little infinity symbol. That way it won't try to hunt for focus when it's focusing on something that's millions of miles away. You can see if I put that single piece of the disc cookie in front of this camera's lens, you still get an image, but it's very dark orange. That's because it's filtering out a lot of the light. Not all of it, but a lot of it. Now I see some people holding a floppy disk up to their eye and looking directly at the sun. You should not do that because this does not filter out enough of the infrared and ultraviolet rays to protect your vision. But it is filtering out enough of the light that it's fine for the camera. So here's that footage I recorded using this camcorder, my Canon Vixia HF200, which is the camcorder I've used for the majority of my videos for the past year and a half or so. It's not the best quality footage because I didn't bring my tripod, so a lot of it is handheld. And I recorded this in the parking lot of the building where I work, and you'll be able to hear there were a lot of other people out there along with me looking at the eclipse. And it was kind of funny, an ice cream truck pulled up. We didn't plan it, it just showed up. I guess they knew there would be large crowds of people around and they saw one. And they did pretty good business, I'm sure. So here's my amateur footage of the August 21st, 2017 solar eclipse as seen from central New Jersey. Don't look at it, you'll turn to stone. <laughs> see it on the camera? I can see it. I see. <laughs> Cold stone, do we get ice cream? <laughs> yeah, well, who, where is that I didn't from? I bring my money down. Actually, if the building were smart, they'd be giving it out for free. <laughs> We just had that. Or they'd be doing, oh, they'd be, if they were smart, they'd be charging double. <laughs> <laughs> you want to look at it in No, I'm, I'm seeing it through the camera. Wow. Yeah. 
Maybe I'm not seeing it that clearly because my contacts are. What is that? Can you get it on the video camera? Yeah. Oh wow. Well. Try to 